Warner Brothers takes pride in presenting an important new motion picture, distinguished by the performances of a great artist and a brilliant new star, together in roles created by one of America's outstanding modern playwrights. Miss Vivian Lee, twice winner of the Academy Award for Best Performance by an Actress, for her portrayal of Scarlett O'Hara in Gone with the Wind and Blanche Dubois in A Streetcar Named Desire. Warren Beatty, hailed by Life magazine as the biggest new name in American entertainment. From the novel by Tennessee Williams, Pulitzer Prize winning author of Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Suddenly last summer, and A Streetcar Named Desire. The scene, Rome, Italy. Not the city of imperial monuments, or Renaissance glories, not the busy modern capital, but a Rome few tourists ever enter. It is the Rome that lives in the glare of sensation, where the sophisticated and the notorious of two continents meet. Ah, Renato, do you know her? Ah, she's not for you. Have you seen the American lady again this week? Do you know she is so famous that she has to wear dark glasses so that people won't recognize her? Last night, I... this Senora Stone. I didn't know she was such a great lady. Yes, a great lady. Famous in international society, a glamorous woman of the world. Karen Stone also happened to be rich, beautiful, and alone. That's a dangerous combination in Rome in the spring. Paolo! What is it? Oh, nothing. It's, it's just so silly. I, I, I just lost my sunglasses. <laughs> well, I'm late for an appointment. Can we have dinner tomorrow night? Miss Vivian Lee, more vivid than Scarlet in Gone with the Wind, more daring than Blanche in a streetcar named Desire. When the time comes when nobody desires me for myself, I'd rather not be desired at all. Warren Beatty, outdoing the role that made him the screen's most exciting new personality. Paul, you once told me you hurt me because you loved me. You were afraid of being hurt yourself. Shall I never know if you love me unless you hurt me? You know what I think? You are infatuated with Mrs. Stone. Don't you read the gossip columns? No, I quit that too. 